Where in the villages are? Oh, top of the modern, or top of the eve. How long have I been out? Uh, uh. You didn't think that you could keep me out of your web zone for long, could you, landlubbers? Well, even though Captain Zuka's personal stock had been a bit dry, I dare say the time for adventure is nigh. I'm sorry to have been kept you waiting, but uh, had a bit of feline-related issues. Namely, the little darling went chewing through me cables, so I had to get replacement cards, you see. So now, it's time for us to continue the pirate's life. I have an idea one where to start, so we'll go with the latest arrival. Ooh, and it looks like we're about to engage in battle. Is this where we left off, or isn't it? Frankly, I think I've been having a little too much of this. But suffice to say, we are now on the shores of Caracas, and we have 60 soldiers against twice as many pirates. As you well know, under the command of Captain Zuka and Montgomery Mongoose, this here town, uh, I misspoke. We have engaged in much worse odds. So I say, attack! As me men storm the ramparts, the captain of the guard blocks me path. <laughs> At least he thinks he does. That's not gonna last, ye. Anyone who's gonna wear black and gold around here, it's gonna be me. Not that I will, but... It's quite illegal to look cooler than the captain. Ah. It's time for us to appoint a new governor, too. A full and proper capture. A Dutch burger. This ain't any sort of seaman's cannibalism speaking, but burger just makes me mouth water. And there they go with the sad strubbing of them steel drums. So let's speak to the governor, see what he has to say to us. My dear Colonel Zuka, please come in. As you know, we're at war with the evil Spanish and the slimy French. I understand that recently you installed a Dutch governor in Caracas. <gasps> Why, that's me! And you captured a Spanish trade galleon. Excellent. The king would be pleased. <clears throat> yes, that's, that's all very well and good, sir, but I don't suppose you can fill in me memory gap. I, uh... I've had a few things that have uh, escaped me mind. In recognition of your service to the Dutch crown, I am pleased to promote you to the rank of Admiral. Congratulations. And I give you a nice tricorn hat as well. Henceforth, ship upgrades will be cheaper in Dutch ports. I'm also pleased to grant you an estate of a hundred acres on the outskirts of town. <laughs> That's me calling card these days. I conquer a town, I make it my own, and then I settle some land there. The governor's attractive daughter enters the room. 
and she seems quite taken with me. I accept, I dare say. And maybe this time, without Montgomery Mongoose harping in the ear, I can perform upper jigs. Don't you like me new medallion, ma'am? I take you and spin you about. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. It does look to me like she's having fun. Perhaps I can get her love and heart to open up. Watch out then, here I come. I suppose you can call this a touch of class now. And dance, and dance, and I'm showing you just how spiffy a <clears throat> gentleman I can be. Oh, now that one came out of nowhere. I don't think it's quite fair when all I have to go by are the telegraphs of your hands. I seem to be doing all right. Your heart be enlarged, love. And not in the <clears throat> unhealthy way. See, lads and lasses, I do spin her right around. I believe you have a sister who has been missing for many years. The evil Spaniard, Bayman Raimondo, has information which will be of great value to you. At the moment, he's hiding in the city of Margarita. So in other words, the grand teleporting pirate of Yar has once again slipped through my fingers and warped off to shores unknown. That don't sit well with this one. Let us consult the ship, right? See if we can't... Oh, I suppose we can't let off any dead weight yet. Trade with the merchant. Mm. We'll offer a pittance for everything, but... I suppose we can outfit them with some guns. We don't need all of them, after all. There's not much he can offer me besides that, and I dare not sell me cargo for less than what's proper. Besides, me men rely on it. Off to the tavern, then. <laughs> yes, sorry for raiding your town, boys. Now get on the boat. What, you don't have any artifacts to sell me? What be in that great big box? St. Augustine is a poor Spanish stronghold. Hmm. Mostly farmers. Hardly worth me time. The barmaid eyes me warmly. Congratulations, Suka. I hear you've been promoted to Admiral. Well, shucks. I reply modestly. Don't put words in me mouth, game. I would say, why yes, me dear. I don't suppose you'd be willing to embark on a voyage with us. You could keep the men in line. And no, I don't mean to say that you would be passed around like some kind of cheap joint. No. I do not allow that sort of behavior on me ships. The bartender motions me over. The economy here stinks. I bet if we get a new governor from a nearby settlement, things would really pick up. You haven't given the new one time to settle in, have you, lad? I suppose that's all we have to do here. Now let's sail away. No, he will not! I saw the price. Cast off, lads. I hear opportunity knocking. 
and it's the sound of shiver me timbers. <laughs> the Galleon Cataluna. What a fair name for a fair ship. I'm afraid I'm going to have to slow you down, darling. For a bump about with your escort's going to be first. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't much like the Conquistador look. It hardly works for you. And that... That's gonna get you earned some fierce slashes. Ta-ta, lad. Hurrah! Yar ha ha And she's in perfect shape, too. <laughs> uh, no upgrades, though. She might slow us down some. Come here, lass. I'm not gonna hurt ya. I just want to take you over. That won't sit well with me. Correct me if I'm wrong, lads and lasses, but I think that the man's quote just provided him some flotation. Alright, that's it. No more Captain Nice Guy. <laughs> it's funny because he drains. Yar, ha, ha. Why are you all wearing facsimiles of me hat? My courage has impressed the enemy. An eager group of twenty sailors volunteered to join the crew of a hundred and fifteen. Welcome aboard, lads. You be piping down back there. Sorry, if you be hearing a barking, it's the ship's dog. Specifically the cook's. Let's take a brief glance at the map and see where... Aha! That's Margarita. And Baron Raimondo is not far, methinks. Let us hunt the yellow-bellied car down. <laughs> I'll show him... Ooh, and a Spanish smuggler! Well... You know, smuggling's against the law, Neptuna. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt ya. I'm just gonna capture ya. Ravish you. Lay you down on the sheets. No, wrong. Sorry, that's becoming phrase for something else entirely. Not for capturing boats. Oh, you telegraph your moves too easily, lad. I'll give you some more tips, but, um... You think swimming be your only concern at the moment. You always have the same exclamation for everything, lads. And we've got... Luxury goods afoot. Don't stand for the silence. Why are we so quiet? Why not some manner of music? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Of course, there'd be several schools of thought on that note. Aha. None other than Baron Raimondo and his warp ship. No, come back here, you dog. I see you. No, you can't be getting away from me now. No. Let's see here. To 
wash the brigantine. We don't need it anymore. I suppose we can see how fast we maintain now. Yes, we've gotten much faster. I hope we can catch up with the devil. He asks me. He tasks me, and I shall have him. I'll chase him round Perdition's flame and round Hell's heart before I give him up. Quiet now, I'm the captain. Besides, Margarita's behind us. Where is he? For hate's sake, I stab at thee wherever thee are. Oh. The curd has eluded me. This can't be. No doubt he's heading towards either Santo Domingo or San Juan. On that note, I'll be heading northwards. Perhaps dropping this vessel is for the best. Fare thee well, Cataluna. If you weren't so capable of color carrying cargo. Well, I hope you're settling in, boys and girls, for the long haul, because this one looks like it'll take a while. For right now, I think it's a fair time to be shoving off for when I return, hopefully. Baron Raimondo will be back in me sight. And then... I shall extract from him another nugget of information regarding me long-lost sister. So until then, as the boss says, have fun, be good, and go nuts. <laughs>